Monique is joyful, Monique is joyful, welcome to Monique is joyful. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Welcome back again, it's us. If you don't know who I am, my name is Monique and this is my channel, Monique is joyful. <laughs> <laughs> And my son, D'Angelo, who joined us on our very last video. Yes, yes, yes. And we decided that we wanted to talk about another subject today, which is going to be how to support your LBGT uh, child. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm looking at all the letters. Okay, because I add extra, Q-R-S-T-U-P. <laughs> so, um, well, how would you say that you supported me for me being gay? Um, well, I supported you by, I'm going to love you because I feel like, see, you don't know how you're going to feel outside of the fact that that's your child. You're going to love your child. You know what I mean? And because that's always, that child is still the same child that you gave birth to or you helped raise, whether you gave birth to them or not. You know what I mean? Right. So he's never changed. He's been himself. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I felt like he told me when he was, um, 16. He yeah. told me when you were 16, and the first thing that I asked was, Are you sure? Like, yeah, I'm like, Are you sure? Because you never even dated a girl, you know what I mean? But I guess when I think back on it, it's like, Well, well hold on, let me act here. I have dated girls before, but I just haven't had intercourse with one. Well, but, girl, you date, I don't know. <laughs> It's but, to me. I don't but know. I'm saying like you know I have you know you know we were in school or they had other girlfriends like that. like I have that to go before like, I'm talking about date like okay I'm oh like like you go know, outside like, and do something with you I'm oh yeah with... so that don't that don't count then okay but my whole thing is this like you know my biggest thing is this for me being the A and stuff like that like you know honestly speaking it has been. Well, that, that, that little smack was gay as hell. But, okay, but it has I been. I guess you can say that, huh? I <laughs> but guess you can. I will, it was like, you remember that movie? You remember that movie when he was like, uh, the the hands are here, so he's like, or he's like, uh, uh, something. It was something that he had did. It was like, he was like super extra. Man, you should just listen. Listen to YouTube. You just take the hat off. You don't have to take it off. Because I take it off. I'm like, it's raining, man. Hallelujah. <laughs> but listen. At the end of the day, you know, like, it has been a journey with me being gay or whatever. Like, it has not been easy. And it's not because of the sense, like, oh, I'm gay, oh, my life is over. But it's just, in uh, fact, no matter that, you know, it's already hard enough, but you being a black man in America, but you being a gay black man, it's like two strikes against you. And you got to know that you are not alone. And that, you know, being gay is just who you sleep with. It don't define who you are completely. Yeah, it's a part of who so you, you are. Have, like, you everything. do have different, like, I'm going to be honest with you, you do definitely have different type of gays. You know, you have over the top gays, messy gays, the gays that so with your man. But I'm going to say, like, for me, well, I'm just. you a, got the same in straight, too. You got you do. Messy so, yes, you do. And, and, okay? Yes, you do. <laughs> well, girls and guys. But my yeah, whole thing is this. So. At the end of the day, for me, I, a gay don't define who I am as a person. No, I, it's just something that I, I mean, I, I, mm -hmm. I just are messy with guys, but. With what I mean, it's I'm gonna say guy, I'm not gonna say with guys, so I'm married now, but I'm bombshell. But, <laughs> but, but, isn't it not defines you? You like, don't that's one thing I hate. I people like say, oh, you know, I'm like, everybody got had this big old coming out story, okay, you just be gay. I'm like, it's okay, you gay. Yeah, but so it is, a, but you know what? I see why there are, you know, coming out stories because. Like, that's not the normal. I mean, you know what I mean? But hold on. It's so not, you have to tell on. your parents that but hold on, you attracted to But this whole thing is this, but you can't say that because I feel like you said. Well, now it's more Being normal. gay is not normal. It's not normal I mean, to your parents, but my whole thing yeah. is this. At the end of the day, I know most people's parents that did. The people's parents, parents was not expecting some of the things that they children did. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I hate. I hate when people be like, oh, my child and shit, my child be gay. How could this happen? But you made mistakes too, baby. And my whole thing, you done done but stuff too. who's <laughs> to say that? Like I said, like, I would have to talk to God about this situation as far as, in, like, I just feel like God created everyone. Mm -hmm. I know for myself, when I was a little girl, that I liked boys from when I was little because I looked right. at little boy like, oh, he's cute. So I imagine it's the same way for somebody who has always been gay, knowing that they were No, gay I mean, I'm be honest here. With me, I feel like I think women are very attractive. I think women are beautiful and stuff like that. I'm not going to be like, I'm like a girl. Like, yeah. it's, it's a girl. 
Like I'll be like, I mean, I think girl that girls are very much attractive. Girl. You know what I'm saying? That's like, what it is. and I be and I be clear. If I was not married or whatever, and I was straight, then I probably would probably be a thick woman because I I have a thick husband. But my whole thing is this: at the end of the day, like. I don't think women are, are you know, you just like, ugh. Like, I think I'm like, oh, she's she's beautiful. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I, I think women are attracted too. I just don't see myself romantically sleeping with or being involved with them mm-hmm. and stuff. But I definitely had to have girlfriends, girl, girl, like when I say girlfriends, girls as my friends. And I'd be like, damn, girl, like, you're a girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, bow, bow, bow. You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's what I feel like, even if, you, if you're not gay, you should always be a curse next person. That's being a hater. You should always be like, <laughs> and the like, people that be doing that stuff be the ugliest people that be doing that be hating. So my whole thing, and, and, and they be ugly. And that's that's why we doing like extra stuff because they mad. But my whole thing is this. Yeah, look, but ugly is attitude. Too. You know what I'm that's saying? That makes you ugly. That makes your eyes look ugly because your attitude is thing. Yeah. But true. my whole thing is this: back to being me and gay. Like it really don't define me as a person. Like I'm still gonna do what I want to do when it comes to career wise, and I still believe myself. Don't make me less than the person because of who I see with. That just that's that's the last thing on the list because there's so many attributes to me as a person and as a young man outside of me being gay like i have a beautiful heart yeah, i love really people do. i would do i mean like i have i have unconditional heart i love people my my i love my family i love my friends and at the end of the day it's so much it's so much more than people than just like who they sleep with and that's people that be so like invested in which is crazy because the whole thing is this mm-hmm. just because somebody May sleep the same sex do not mean that they are uh, like they just like everything they was raised off their morals and everything went out the window. Mm-hmm. They just if they not out literally, I'm just gonna be real with you. They're not out here just having sex with multiple most people and is sleeping around like a beanbag. Then it's not you should not define them nor be criticizing them based off of who they're with because that's the last thing on the list. They so much they they still the same person. That's yeah. just that's just a there's something that's different about them. But they still the same person. Yeah. And this coming this coming out even when it comes to family, like family be like that. Oh well, you know the same person. You just change your whole life up. That's something personal. You can't control family. Can your family cannot control who you deal with? But like, unless you're a grown, actually if you're a teenager, but right? unless you're a grown man, at the end of the day, just remember, be respectful to your family. Even if they don't understand, still be be, be respectful. Cause my whole but thing your is family this, need to be respectful. Most, the most definitely, it's a mutual, it's so much respect. Yeah, but, but I'm saying, respect people that's not respectful. And that's what I'm, but I'm saying when I say respect for me and that is this. Don't, but, which I have done, and I'm going to admit to this. Don't take you out your own hookup and be become an ugly thing and, uh, and become this evil creature, be not being belligerent because somebody came at you. Hire other chicks, because they help them. While they showing they complete, and this is, Excuse me, but everybody they showing their complete ass. Hmm. If you turn the, if you walk away, they arguing with themselves. That's true. But like I mean, you you showing who you you can't you can't just in this one thing. A person can't say they're a real Christian and you over here, oh uh, you're going to go to hell. How da, 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 da. at the end of the day, God didn't say you judge. God said you love. Yeah, so my true. whole thing is this: at the end of the day, yeah, why they showing their complete self? You, you don't don't come out your skin. Don't come out your soul. Like how how James Brown said, "Don't get on my skin. Don't come out your soul. Walk away." That's like, a good like, move. Like, 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 don't That's get out movie. your don't get out your hooker. Walk away. It's not even worth it. At the end of the day, they gonna know that they was wrong. And people that's there, somebody's there seeing that, they gonna see that who they really is. And you really show your true colors when you when people act like that and act evil like that. You show that whatever you you put out there is a false narrative. Because the hate that you put, you, you, you spew it out. Mm-hmm. And that's just what it is. And my whole thing is this. Regardless, like I said in the last video, whatever your livelihood is, whatever you've done in the past, that's shit. If you don't feel, you, if you want to come talk to somebody about it, talk to somebody about it. Whether it's family, professional, whatever. If you want to go to God about it. Yeah, go to God. But most of all, you should God. go to God about it. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Well, my, for me personally, since I haven't even told my mom or nobody, I have went to God about it. I let it and go I, with God and let it be there. It's the same for me because nobody, I don't think anybody knows everything about one person's life. It's just too much to know. But one thing I wanted to say is uh, you were only 22 years old and I know you're still learning, but I'm very proud of you. Well, thank you. you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. (laughs) I love you. I'm always love you. I always love you too. And my whole thing is this. I just want to say this. I am very grateful for my parents, my grandparents, and my family, my auntie, 
and everything. And I'm just, I'm appreciative. And they got blessings to have a house where I didn't get kicked out of. I was not shunned. Because there's a lot of people that are. And for those that are living like that and just out on your own, keep on going. Keep your head up. Yeah. And my whole thing is this. You're going to get through it. You're not alone. And, and God stuff. will bless you. With and you listen to my prayers. You're in all, you our prayers. Yeah, you're in our and prayers. And stuff. But don't know this. The star don't last forever. It's always a rainbow on the outside. That is so true. And sometimes life can feel so hard and this does, can be, it doesn't matter about your sexuality. We all feel joys and pains and have ups and downs when it comes to that. But I know it's got to be very hard for a person who is not even accepted by the people that you would think going to love you because they gave birth to you, especially if they raised you too. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, um... We'll we're gonna pray for everybody. When I pray, I pray for everyone, like I already said. And, and hold on, I just want to say something too, because mm -hmm. I just this really just came to me, and mm -hmm. I want to say this. Another misconception about you know people being gay and everything. Not everybody that's gay been molested, and mm -hmm. I just really want to say that because that's a big thing that he will be asking, and I get I get that because sometimes when kids are you know touched. Mm -hmm. Are molested by like cousins or just you know family friends stuff like that. Like it do sometimes mess with them yeah, and whatever, and then they be confused it. on mm -hmm. what they like because they never they got exposed to too early. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying that's the person they got exposed to, rather than it be free or will. Mm -hmm. So my whole thing is this: not it's some people that are you know I'm not that are like that. You know, like you know they got molested and they just you know later on like they chose that lifestyle for themselves. But not everybody that is of the LGBT that got molested and they just chose that not everybody so that's just, that's just a false description whoever really that stuff i really want you just to really think before you ask anybody that because it's very offensive and stuff and another thing also when it comes to the gays and stuff i just wish that in my own community that it was more like love mm -hmm. and not and less cadence and less jealousy so my whole thing is there's already enough people against us and tearing each other down is not you know going to do any better like at the end of the day i can see it's plenty of people that i don't care for but my whole thing is this are you telling me i'm never gonna you know i lost friends of the lgbt and my whole thing is this i never was like oh well, they they just they bums and then we may not work out as friends but i still wish everybody that i'm not friends with the best because i know they have potential and i want them to the best they can be with or without me mm -hmm. and stuff and that goes to everybody, everybody, everybody in the world. I want everybody to grow and be the best, and I wish everybody the best. And all y'all are in my prayers, Amen. and I love you guys. And then another thing that I want to say is that I remember a long time ago, like I had my friend, and she had a brother, which was my friend too, and we was kids in high school. And anyway, I didn't know at the time that he is gay now. But during the time, I thought he was straight, and we all thought he was straight. So we were arguing, and to get on his nerves, I remember telling him some about him being gay, not knowing that maybe he probably knew he was gay then and just hadn't came out. And I've been wanting to apologize to him because all he said, whatever I said was rude, I know. And it was a, I said it to insult him because he was getting on my nerves, and we was arguing, and I was being a kid. You know what I mean? And I told him... I said something about what you gave, but something like that. But either way, yeah. I didn't know what he might have been struggling with at the time. And I didn't mean it. I was just being irritating because I figured, you know, yeah. a straight boy, that's going to get on his nerves if he's straight. If I say that about him, right. he's going to get offended. Right. You know what I mean? Press his buttons. Yes. And we all do stuff at the heat of the moment. So, so everybody must make mistakes. But and I, I apologize if you are watching. I apologize. Yeah. I probably apologized back then, but I just want you to know that, you know. It's all love. Yeah, and it never was. A, <laughs> a, it was a get on your nerves thing. I yeah, said, well, it, everybody get an argument. You are trying to go blow for blow. And at the, end of the day, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I mean, you said you apologize and stuff. You know your heart. And the person yeah, gets to accept it Because tonight. I've never been, like, homophobic. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I said it to him out of just. You can't listen. You can't listen. My mama can't be homophobic with me doing all my eyes going every which way and my head doing all this. So at the end of the day, yeah, I mean, but I'm just saying it's not because I have a gay child. No, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not just saying that. But I'm just saying if you're homophobic, you. people be like, you know, you probably be like, so that's straight. Be here, sleep. 
You know what I'm saying? Like I'm saying, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is this, you know, everybody make mistakes off of ignorance of time. And I have done it. Mm-hmm. We all have done it in this world. Mm-hmm. Nobody's perfect. But Yeah, but that was on my heart. And since I know I'm gonna <laughs> post this up, I've been No, no, I, no, I, no, I, 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 that's real. But I'm mm-hmm. saying this in period, this in general. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all have done stuff. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I know I said some stuff. My mouth can go. Well, I only said it just to be, like I said, to be irritating because I didn't know that he really was. But, you know, ever since then, you know, I came out honestly, Let's like, see. and stuff. Like, my mom relationship, we talk about everything, like, my mom, they we talk about friend. everything, but he tell me too much sometimes. <laughs> it is a such thing as TMI. Some things I told him, I don't got to know, like, la, 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 la. Like, I'm going to ask something because it's a thing. Oh, goodness. Well, me, my mother, can post me and my mother is so, like, like close, like you know, I respect that's my mama. Like my mama, like my mama tell you shut my ass up, I'm shut up. But my whole thing is this. But <laughs> but I feel like okay, in the comments. Man, you if you stop cursing, if you feel stuff. like it's a, if you feel like we need to do a truth or a drink. No, we ain't doing those. I don't drink. That's the first thing. I'm be drinking pop. Well, I don't yeah, we can drink. drink pop. We gotta be like alcohol, but I drink wine. I'm just saying. Yeah, like, then we only gonna release so much information on you. Yeah, but I mean, just listen, 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 listen. I know we not, you know, she ain't Hollywood yet. But listen, <laughs> I think that you should, you know, you know, they should give us some questions, the general questions, know about us and stuff, and talk about and and just certain different things about proponents of being joyful, how to become. Joyful, <laughs> and, <laughs> and we can go from there and stuff, or you can go, you can do it without me, and it could just be a good segment and stuff because we are, you are here to, you are here to spread positivity. Yes, we are. And stuff. Well, and I am most of the time by myself. It was nice having a guest, D'Angelo. Uh, and- D'Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll be back, I'm sure. Oh my gosh! Now, also, okay. Cause I mean I don't care about revealing my whole name because I just don't care. Like, I just, no, like, just D'Angelo. <laughs> his name, that's his name. But um, say why you name with D'Angelo? Oh, I named you D'Angelo because I kept thinking about that name. I thought that name was cute, and I loved the singer D'Angelo. All his music when he when stuff. he was looking fine, before yeah. the, the weight came. Well, you know I like a thick, but I'm the same. But I don't know what he look like now. But either way, he could sing. That's all I know. And I was really into his music. You know what? Don't hate on (laughs) D'Angelo. Don't you hate on Mr. Brown Sugar? (laughs) That is the jam. Okay, that's the jam. (laughs) Unless he was in. I don't know if he was really naked in that video, but it was this guy. When it was so off subject, but it was this guy, and he said some brown sugar at the time of the show, and he had a piano. He had that. He had that range. (laughs) I was like. (laughs) I don't know, you better sing, boy. You <laughs> piano, dump, 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 dump. He was like, what's, what's, the, what's that white guy, that white gay guy that we are playing piano, got the glasses. Hey, Elson John. He was like, damn, the piano. He <laughs> was like, ah. All right. You are a whole he was, vibe. He uh, is his own vibe. Oh, but together we are the fantastic suit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, guys, thank you for joining us today. Please hit that like, that share, and that subscribe. Thank you. Monique is joyful. Monique is joyful. Welcome.